Well, yeah, first of all, welcome. Um, as Nam said, this is, I think, the first junior um, level well route, and I thought it would be a really cool thing to do. Uh, so I run Rail Skills Wellington along with Mary over there. Um, that's us. <laughs> 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 and it's, it's a lot of effort putting uh, those events on and they're quite intensive and what I really want to do is have a lot more frequent uh, shorter events throughout the year like, like tonight so this is just a little test to see if it kind of works um, get some juniors in the room and get you all connected with some people who are already embedded within the community um, so first of all I'm just going to talk a little bit about what Rails is <coughs> Um, why we decided to do it, the things that went well. Also, I think it's important to note things that didn't go well and what we're trying to do about that. And what's next? So, um, who here is familiar with Browse Girls, just so I don't rant on about it for ages? Okay, okay, cool. Got all of you. So, it's an open source, uh, non profit learning platform and uh, community. So, it's a whole bunch of guides online. Um, it was started in Finland and is now in over 160 cities in the world. Now, um, Finland is an awesome country. Uh, you might know of it because they, um, it's the birthplace of Linux, SSL, uh, MySQL, Nokia, and Angry Birds. Gender equality sector. Why we decided to go with Rails Girls is, well, I work with Rails developers, so I thought, you know, I've already got a community there to pull on. Um, and there's a lot of momentum behind it already. Uh, there's a lot of resources online. Uh, the community is really vibrant. And Ruby is, is a nice, um, nice language to start learning and kind of a low barrier to entry. Um, a little bit about why we personally ran it is um, being involved in the community for a few years. Um, we'd go to events and there'll be more people called James in the room um, than women. And <laughs> nothing against people called James, of course. Um, and just having diverse environments is really great. So we wanted to do what we could to uh, foster that. How it went. So we ran one last year and one this year. Uh, first year we had 80 applications within uh, two weeks. And of those we were able to take 30 participants. And this year we um, almost doubled that. We took 50 participants and we had almost 100 applications. So there's still a lot of people um, sitting there in our wait list that uh, really want to keep doing this and we kind of have to think about how we're going to keep driving this board um, together because it is quite hard and we need more support really. Um, pros. The great thing about Rails Girls is that um, it helps to break some of those uh, barriers to entry. Um, starting out in anything new is really difficult, um, especially when you're worried about you know, being a minority in the group, or you're worried about self-judgment, or um, just a lot of people came up, come up to me and said, I'm not ready to go to Rails Girls because I feel like I need to know something before I come, and it's really trying to break that down as it's complete, for complete beginners, and we're here to help you. Um, the other pros are that there's tons and tons of resources online that's being built by the community, so we could easily just tell people to look at these tutorials, they exist, they will be in trouble. Um, all the troubleshooting's already happened. Some of the cons is that all the resources are only for beginners. Um, there's a lot of information to be crammed into just one day, uh, trying to get complete beginners to have a, um, a Rails app on Heroku with comments and logins and all that kind of stuff in a day is a huge challenge. And the downfall of that is people come out, but they feel happy at first, like I've done this thing, but then they don't actually know why they typed these things in or they couldn't understand um, really what they were doing. So um, how we tried to combat that was to add a second day to the course. So that was challenging in itself. We had to write a whole bunch of new material, but that was possible because we had awesome people in the community. So we had um, three new streams that we added. Um, PowerShop ran a Ruby stream. Um, Able Tech did a test driven development stream and Rabbit, who's um, well, not Matt anymore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Matt and Rob and um, Owen did a front end stream. And Amy, who's also not around in Wellington anymore, uh, she did a stream on GitHub. 
Yeah, so some of the challenges about doing our, making our own course and moving away from the standard uh, outline was that we're making stuff up as we go. Um, less is less tested, things took longer than expected. Um, there were some technical challenges. And um, the other thing is we allowed more experienced people, like Rachel, who's about to um, speak, um, join. So sh she's someone who's been uh, programming for over 10 years uh, but doesn't know Ruby. And we're like, how can we make someone like Rachel um, learn something from a beginner's course? So we had to we had that challenge of trying to um, not be condescending to those who know programming but also not skip over heaps of stuff that um, that will make it difficult for newbies. Um, I'll tell you much. It's apart from taking over the world, <laughs> um, Marion and I have some um, some other reasons and some other things we want to do, and that's around um, breaking down more barriers. So we want to we want to make this more accessible, and that means maybe providing some laptops for those who can't come because you know currently to get into a lot of these courses and to get into the rail skills, you need to bring your own laptop. Um, so we're looking at ways that we can help with that, and also getting into schools. Um, one of the one of the women who turned up to the last Rails Girls was a um, IT teacher at Wellington Girls College, and she's really keen to have the community come through the come through the school and help um, get Ruby introduced. Because currently, um, I don't know what they're doing, but I think that she's from the Teach the Python or something. Um, anyway, she's really keen on trying to um, connect Rails Girls into schools as well. Okay, and that's my rant for now. Um, thanks for listening, and I'm going to pass you off to Rob now. <laughs>